And joining me now is Larry Kudlow, CNBC senior contributor, host of the Larry Kudlow Show on radio, Cumulus Radio, and co-founder of the Committee to Unleash Prosperity. And Larry, uh, congratulations to you and, and Stephen uh, Moore, who will be here momentarily, um, and uh, Boone Pickens, who we got a big interview with tomorrow, but he gave us a preview tonight. We're going to let people hear that. Um, you had a great event last night, uh, and it featured uh, T. Boone Pickens, and what a wonderful man. I have known Boone Pickens for a long time, and I believe he's 87 years old yes, now. Yes, he'll be 88 next month. I mean, he is just sharp as a tack. You can't get anything past him. He and I started going at it a little bit. It just reminded me of all the TV interviews. He will not give up. He, he knows more about oil and gas than most everybody <laughs> alive, yep. and it was a great treat. It was just a great treat to see him, and he was in great, great form. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, having me and inviting me as always. All right, uh, let's move on. What do you expect to happen tonight? Five states, you got all these delegates, 118 on the uh, Republican side. What's going to happen? Well, all the signs point to a Trump landslide. I'm sorry, 172 on the Republican side, I think. Go ahead. Yeah, and there may be some finagling with that yeah. Pennsylvania and God knows where else, but I was even looking at polls in, in Connecticut. Uh, Trump is just swamping them in Connecticut and apparently swamping them in Rhode Island, and I think it's going to be a big sweep for him. And I also think that Senator Ted Cruz is going to lose in a lot of these states uh, to John Kasich, Governor John Kasich, frankly. And this whole so-called alliance between <laughs> the two of them, I wouldn't even say it was frayed. I'd say it was just over, done. It never happened. And it was a, sh a show of weakness by both of them. I think it really hurt. And the polls, you know, coming into this thing, Polls are showing Trump gaining and those two losing ground. So I find that very interesting. Trump gaining. Guy's on a roll. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that, that cockamamie alliance where Cruz explained it one way, uh, saying that, you know, uh, that, uh, that Kasich is going to give up on Indiana and that people are going to vote for me. He's, they don't want to, he doesn't want them to vote for him. And then, there, then there you go to Kasich, and Kasich says, well, I'm just pulling my resources, but I'm not telling anybody not to vote for me. I want them to vote for me. <laughs> uh, they didn't even get their story straight, their deal straight. You know, and I think, I think probably just as damaging is their way off message. There's no talk about economic growth. There's no talk about jobs. There's no talk about Iran or ISIS and so forth and so on. No talk about border security. Meanwhile, Trump is back on message. I mean, ever since uh, Wisconsin, he has come back very strong. And some new polls just breaking out today. The battleground polls, Salinda Lake and Ed Goa, is a very famous bipartisan poll now shows Trump essentially tied with Hillary. Okay, that's the best he's done, and that's a bipartisan poll. Yep. I want to emphasize that. Yep. Secondly, an NBC poll shows that Republicans uh, and those leaning toward Republican are now more and more backing Trump. Uh, he's moving through 50%, and if you just take out the leaners, uh, he's also moving up toward 50%. Those are important signs that the GOP and the rest of the country are now, you know, taking another look at Donald Trump, watching him perform, and they are beginning to like more and more what they well, see. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I want to go back to what uh, T. Boone uh, Pickens said, and again, we played a little uh, bit of the interview tonight, uh, very little bit at the beginning of this segment, and we're going to do uh, much, much more tomorrow. But he said that uh, he has advised, he's talked to Trump and, and advised him about oil since he started running for president. He also said that uh, he thinks Trump will be president, and he also said Hillary will not be the nominee. It will be either Kerry or, uh, or Biden. Yes, well, I don't know about that last one. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I truly have no way of knowing, but people mustn't forget or, or mustn't even uh, uh, dismiss. Trump is talking to experts in a number of fields, okay? And Boone Pickens, mentioning that he talked to Donald about oil and gas is very significant. Uh, I happen to know that Trump has been talking to fiscal experts on taxes and budgets. He's been talking to national security uh, experts. Um, he's going to give a big uh, speech tomorrow, tomorrow on foreign relations. You know, Trump is getting to it. He's getting to it, and he's gradually morphing himself not only into the front runner, but as a very serious candidate who may well be president. Now, he, he, you know, he's praised you for what you said at first on this show about his economic policy. Uh, has he, have you talked 
to him? Has he called you or vice versa or seen you or anything? The answer is yes. I'm, I'm going to tread cautiously here. I haven't made any endorsements, although I have endorsed this tax plan. Right. But I will say um, the answer to your question is yes. I have spoken with him. Would you be? I won't ask you. I won't ask you what I asked Carson, the guy who got in all kinds of trouble uh, by the answer. But I'll ask you this: uh, if he, if he's elected and he says, "Larry, come to Washington," you know, be my this, that, or whatever, would you be interested? Well, look, I it's <laughs> way out of the game. Um, Anytime, uh, my, my rule, Steve Baldwin, Cudlow rule, anytime a president asks you to help, you help. Right. That's as much as I would say. I was once a deputy budget director under Ronald Reagan. I've been informally advising many, many people, including several presidents down through the years. It is my great honor. And as I say, anytime a president calls, you answer the call and you offer to help. All right. Sounds good. Larry? Always great to talk to you, Thank sir. You, Thank Steve. you very Appreciate much. It. Larry Kudlow, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, your calls live on the air on this election night. May we're making news like here and there every 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 half second. 877 Newsmax, 877 Newsmax. Give us a call.